Tree mirrors. And we're going to start with those by taking those tabs off so that we can get them prepared to start our project. Now that we have the tabs off and we have our mirrors and the cardboard backing out, we're going to take them and we're going to spray paint them with our silver metallic paint. As you can see, these are the mirrors. And if you're new to our channel, thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to see new DIY projects. And now we have those all spray painted. What we're gonna do is replace the mirrors and the backing. This is not going to be seen in the project, but we want to make sure that it's going to be as sturdy as possible. And guys, while you're at it, go ahead and check out some of our latest videos. And again, we're just replacing the backing and we're closing those little tabs just to make these as sturdy as possible. And this is another frame that we use with just both of the backings and this will be our bottom. So now what we're going to do with that bottom, we're going to take two of our mirrors and we're just going to make this triangle shape by gluing both sides to the bottom there and then gluing those at the top. And the way we're going to do this is first we're going to start with our, our glue gun and then we're going to reinforce that with our Gorilla Glue um, heavy duty adhesive. So whatever adhesive you'll be using, if you have E6000 that's fine, whatever glue that you will be using. And again, guys, if you're new to our channel, we love that you have joined us. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to see new updated DIY tutorials. And we're just going to place both of those on each end. We want to make sure that they are going to be level and straight so that when we put the top together, we won't have to take this thing all the way apart because it's not level. And we're just applying a little bit of pressure here. And now we're going to go ahead and use our glue for the top. And you want to use a generous amount of glue to keep this in place. And if you can't find these uh, mirrors at the Dollar Tree, I think they have some similar ones at Walmart. So now that we have both of our 
triangle shapes together, what we're going to do is place one on top of the other. I am using the Gorilla Wood Glue to do this and I will also be using the glue gun just for the purpose of the video. And now you see I'm going ahead and using our glue gun after we have placed the wood glue. And we're just going to take that top piece and making sure that it's level. We're going to use our leveler here. And you want to make sure that this is up against a wall um, to make sure that it's flush against the wall so that you can make sure that it's going to be level because you don't want your table falling over. And again, with the leveler, it's going to help you keep it level. And you're going to have to hold this for a while so that that glue can adhere. And just applying a little pressure, making sure that it's level and flush against the wall. And you can apply a little bit more glue. Okay, so now that we have our triangles together, what we're gonna do is place it on the foam board that they have at Walmart. I'm sorry, at the Dollar Tree. And we're just going to trace that out and we're going to make two of those for each side. So this is going to help us to stabilize our side table. And as you can see, I'm just tracing that out. Okay, so now that we have our sides or back or front cut out, what we're going to do is take this wrapping paper that I picked up from I think it was Burlington um, they have the wrapping paper just on the sides there and it's a nice kind of crinkly silver kind of color but it looks like the um, glitter type so I'm going to use this and I'm going to cover those um, for my table here and it's wrapping paper so we're just going to go ahead and use our glue gun and then some more glue to um, lay that. So now that we have that all covered, all we're going to do is just place that on top and we're going to use our glue to lay that down. So get it as level as possible and it should fit perfectly. And we're just going to go ahead and <clears throat> excuse me, using our glue gun, we're going to go ahead and lay that down. But we're definitely going to go behind our glue gun and use a nice adhesive glue to make sure that that stays in place. And this is going to help our table to stay level as well. And we'll do that for each side. Okay, so now that I have that all done, what I'm going to do is go ahead and we're going to cover up those rough edges. We're going to use this mirror mosaic tile to cover those rough edges um, to make this look very elegant and very clean. And we just do that by cutting along the edges there. So cutting along our mirror mosaic tile, we're just going to use one row and we're going to go ahead and cover up those rough edges on our side table. And it's fairly easy. You just fold over that one row and then you cut it out. And it has the backing, the adhesive backing, 
Uh, the backing is not as strong. The adhesive is not as strong, so you may want to go ahead and use some of your uh, glue gun to make sure that it stays in place. But as you can see, it looks nice once placed. And this is what it's looking like so far. I think it's going to be gorgeous once we finish. So now we're going to go ahead and get started on the top. So now what I have is one of the larger mirrors from Dollar Tree. I don't know if they still have these. Um, you can check your local stores. And also I have the 11 by 14 uh, picture frame that we're going to go ahead and take the glass out of that and then we're going to place the mirror inside. And this is going to be the top of our table. And that's just very simple and easy. We're going to take the cardboard backing out, the extra paper, we'll take that glass out, replace it with our mirror, Now later in this video, I realize I probably should go ahead and spray paint the frame with our silver metallic paint, which is what I decided to go ahead and do. Because I didn't want to cover it completely. I wanted to just cover the edges. So I went, went ahead and spray painted that frame and you'll see that later on in the video. Okay, so now that we have our uh, our picture frame painted, now we're going to go ahead and place that on top. We want to make sure that it's level. And guys, it looks like it's slanted. That's because my table has a... It's kind of warped in the middle. So it looks like it's not level, but it is. Um... So we're going to go ahead and place that on top and we're going to be using our glue gun and uh, whatever strong adhesive glue that you have available. And now we have that placed on top. We're just going to do the same. We're going to cover up those edges using our mirror mosaic tile. And again, you don't want to just place this on because it will start to fall off later on. You want to add some other kind of glue to make sure that it stays in place. And here it is, guys. I added a little bit of embellishment using some of the bling gems that we picked up from Walmart. The table looks gorgeous. I am so pleased with the way this turned out. And you can place all types of things on here. I have this nice little vase with some flowers and a little peace sign. I am loving it. You guys can do whatever you like with your table. This one looks gorgeous. Thank you so much for watching. I thank you to all my new subscribers, all of my revisiting subscribers. 